Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Well, we are back in action on YouTube. We certainly did not mean to take this long no. of a break, but after our last video where we started collecting leaves, uh, both of us just got very sick. <laughs> it was like Brian was sick and then I was sick and we were kind of like passing it back and forth and then Thanksgiving happened. So it has just been a very busy time over here at our house. Um, but needless to say, there's no shortage of projects to go around. So we are back in action today outside in the garden. Um, we have finished leaf collection for the year, I think. Thank goodness. Um, the trees are pretty much bare and we are ready to start planting some stuff. Um, so I know a lot of you folks live in climates where the ground is probably already frozen. You may even have gotten some <laughs> snow. Um, but luckily or unlucky for us, <laughs> we don't really get a break here in Charlotte. Um, we have not gotten any snow and the ground really never freezes here. So we never stop planting throughout the winter. There's always something that maybe we didn't get to in the summer or the fall and we just keep right on going. Yeah, it's been so mild here. We got one maybe good freeze for like a weekend, maybe a month and a half ago. Uh, but other than that, it's just been so mild. We've actually seen some new growth on some plants. Even some annuals are yeah. like blooming that have been st have stuck around for us. Yeah. Um, and so we're just going to keep right on planting. So today we are going to share with you guys about one of our favorite perennials, hellebores or Lenten roses. Um, so Brian is going to jump behind the camera and I'm going to have a seat over here and show you these plants. All right, so if you've been following our channel over the summer, you know that we have a really great relationship with Walters Gardens and they are the brains and the knowledge behind all of the Proven Winners perennials. However, they also have other uh, cultivars of perennials that are non-branded, as you may say, or things that they are growing that are new. Um, and one of those things that they grow are hellebores or Lenten roses. Um, hellebores are an evergreen perennial. Um, during the summer, they will just have foliage, but luckily for us, during the winter, they give us really beautiful color. Um, they start to bloom late winter, although some of ours are already blooming here uh, because it has been so mild. Um, and they bloom for about six weeks, maybe more, depending on your climate. Um, and typically they are in bloom during uh, the season of Lent, which is how they got their name, Lenten Roses. Um, they're a really, really beautiful perennial and it's such a sight for sore eyes during the winter when there's not really any color in the garden and things are just looking drab. And just as you've given up hope, the hellebores come up straight from the ground and they bloom their little heads off. Um, and it's just something really fun to see. Um, and if you're lucky enough, sometimes they'll even be blooming in the snow. Uh, we had a big snow last year here in Charlotte, which is um, kind of unusual for us to get that much snow. Um, and all the hellebores were in bloom. We got some really pretty pictures. Um, so it's just a really great perennial to have in your garden for those winter months when there's not much interest in the garden. You can actually have some color. Um, some great things about them is that they are pretty much um, unfussy plants. They are deer resistant, they're rabbit resistant, um, and they will even kind of naturalize in an area. So when the blooms are done, you can come out and deadhead them, or you can leave them and it will actually form a seed pod in the center. And that little pod will open up and the seeds will kind of fall out into your garden. Um, and over a period of a few years, they will naturalize and start blooming for you. Um, I will say that when they do naturalize, or if you try to harvest the seeds and grow them yourselves, it does take a few years for the hellebores to bloom. Um, so when you are shopping for them, you may find that they are a little bit more on the expensive side in terms of perennials, and that's just because it takes so long for them to bloom. So just know when you're buying hellebores, you're buying a very mature plant if it's got blooms on it. Um, and it's, it's something really special in the garden. Uh, this time of year, they can make really great Christmas gifts, or maybe you've got someone that's got a birthday coming up in January or February. Pick it up from your garden center, um, get one that's got some really pretty blooms on it, and give it as a gift. It's a really great option. Um, now, the ones that we have here are from Walter's Gardens, and I'm sure there are other uh, cultivators out there who are growing uh, hellebores, but the ones that we have here from Walters are from a new series called the Wedding Party Series. Now, if you've had hellebores in your garden before, some of the older varieties, um, you may know that the blooms tend to kind of hang down 
um, and face the ground. And a lot of these new varieties, as you can see here, the bloom is standing straight up, just as you may see on a normal flower, which is really fun. Um, and all of the wedding party series are actually doubles. Uh, so it's not just going to be you know, one ring of petals, it's gonna be multiple rings of petals, which makes for a really big and beautiful uh, show. Um, so the two that I have here are from the Wedding Party series. Um, this one here is called uh, Shotgun Wedding. This one almost looks like confetti. You can see that it has the white edges with kind of the burgundy uh, center that is speckled. Really, really pretty blooms. And then the other one I have is called Mother of the Bride. And I have one here in bloom that I'll show you as well. This one has really pretty apricot blooms. Um, almost kind of like yellow as it's coming out. You can see here with the apricot on the edge. Um, and it looks like this one's gonna have multiple blooms per stem, which is great. Um, one other thing that you wanna keep, a, keep in mind with hellebores or Lenten roses is they are part shade to full shade plants. Um, you definitely wanna keep these out of full sun, definitely want to avoid afternoon sun. Um, they can take full shade actually, However, you want to make sure that if you're planting them under a tree, it is actually a deciduous tree that's going to drop its leaves. So during the winter, they will get full sun because they do need that energy on their leaves to kind of charge up. Uh, but during the summer, they'll be protected. Um, so we'll be planting these today in uh, mostly part shade areas. Right behind me is actually almost full shade. Uh, but during the winter, it gets quite a bit of sun because there's no leaves on the trees. So today we're gonna to be adding all the shotgun wedding hellebores right behind me in this area back here. Um, we have kind of a few random assortment of hellebores already, um, but most of them are in this kind of family where they have like the burgundy and white. So I think this will be a really nice addition. Um, and then this lovely peach one is actually gonna go out in our front garden underneath the oak tree. Um, it's gonna be a really beautiful sight for us as we welcome guests or as people are walking through the neighborhood. Um, and hopefully they'll all be in bloom here in a few short weeks. Okay, so the last thing I wanna mention is if you are interested in getting hellebores and you wanna check them out on the Walters Gardens website, keep in mind that they only sell to wholesaler, growers, nursery type of places. So if you're just wanting them for your personal use, you'll have to check out your local garden center, but you can find these varieties at your garden center. Um, if you're like us, you'll drive all across town to find the exact one that you want, but I assure you they are out there. But check out Walter's Gardens because I think there are over 10 different varieties in the Wedding Party series. And then in addition to that, they have some uh, non-double variety varieties as well. Um, there's a ton of color options out there that is sure to fit anyone's desire. Um, so I think with that, we are gonna get started planting. All right, so we got all of the hellebores planted and we ended up having um, eight, I think, of each variety, uh, which is a lot of hellebores. And they're just gonna naturalize up here and look so beautiful. Um, we were able to make it all the way around the oak tree uh, with the mother of the bride. And this one is the apricot one, so it's gonna look really bright and fresh up here um, during the winter time. 
And if you've been watching us for a while, um, you know that we have had a serious vole problem um, in our whole garden, but really up here. And we had a bunch of hostas um, and some other things up here, and that vole took every single hosta. So we are kind of starting over and heading in a new direction um, since he took all of our hostas. Now we're kind of going for more of a woodland kind of garden. So we've got the dressed up uh, ball gown hookra that we planted up here, which I think is new for next year. Um, we've got some tough stuff aha hydrangeas, which I would like to get a couple more and bring them around the front. Then we've got some pink Chablis lamium that will also kind of naturalize up here. Um, so we're definitely heading in the right direction. We've got some good foundations now. Um, the hellebore is going to be a really nice addition. Um, and like we said, they are evergreen, so we'll have something to see up here all year long, which is really nice. Um, so now let's head to the back and take a look at the other variety. Oh, I did want to show you guys this container. So this is our patio peach that we planted at the beginning of the season. And we also planted some annuals down below. Um, and it has been so, here's Bailey, she wants to be in the video. Um, it has been so mild here that they are just looking really beautiful again. Um, now this is a Snow Princess Alyssum or Lobularia. And uh, Alyssum likes uh, cooler temperatures anyway, so it is really thriving right now. Uh, but we've also got some Mini Vista Indigo and uh, Superbina Peachy Keen that is also starting to rebound. rebound. Uh, no blooms on those, but the Alyssum is just really going for it right now. It's beautiful. Um, I think because it's probably sitting up next to the house, it's getting some warmth. Um, we really haven't had consistent freezing temperatures yet. I mean, this is... This is not typical, so uh, we're very lucky. So let's head on back to uh, the back corner here and we'll look at the hellebores. So we had eight of the shotgun wedding series um, to plant back here. And we were able to come all the way around to um, right in front of our uh, smoke bush here and bring the hellebores. And it just really helps widen this corner um, and add some really nice evergreen interest because otherwise, I mean, there's really nothing back here other than the oak leaf hydrangeas. Uh, we did miss one that we'll have to come back and plant. Um, but these are going to naturalize really well, just like the ones at the front. Um, and we've got some blooms on some other varieties that we planted last year. So you can see in here that they come straight up from the ground with their new growth. Um, and the bloom is right there. Now it will keep growing probably to about here uh, with the bloom. It's not going to bloom that low to the ground. So this one, I cannot remember what the variety is called, but this one you can see it kind of has like a pink burgundy um, tip and it will go really nicely with the shotgun wedding. And then this one here is a solid white. Um, and the foliage on this one is really cool. It's really really hard and has that kind of prickly edge uh, which deer and rabbits are not going to like so they should be resistant to um, those little pests but otherwise you know this is going to be a really nice corner here in a few months when everything is in bloom um, and over the years they will just kind of naturalize if you want them to or if you don't you know you can come out and deadhead um, and they will be beautiful with little to no maintenance. Okay, I think with that, we can wrap up this project. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video and are looking at some hellebores of your own. Again, you can find those at most garden centers, especially uh, the varieties that we planted today. Um, but if you're interested in more, be sure you visit waltersgardens.com and you can check out uh, all of them. Um, until next time, uh, be sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Bye.